Hi, I'm Sarah Bullimore and we are Bullimore Eventing. Uh, okay, so my top horse currently is Riv de Rue, who is a 16 year old, 17 hand bay gelding who has completed most of the um, world's five star events. And he's quite a, a cool dude and knows his, knows his job. And we have Compierre, who is a 13 year old uh, black gelding who has done his first couple of five stars. And he's quite a prankster and loves to have a la laugh and a joke. And then we have our little pocket rocket, who is Coraway, who is nine this year. And he's done his four, first four stars and he will continue to go up the grades. Uh, I think horses is something I've always wanted to do. And yeah, eventing was, was a true love of mine from, from the start. And there wasn't really gonna be anything else. So yeah, I suppose I would have to say yes there. <laughs> Pretty much riding, schooling, and just working all of the horses, and um, jumping, flat work, hacking, going off to the gallops, and anything that we'll make a list that each horse will be doing e each morning, and um, then just working through. Maybe uh, a little bit of teaching in the afternoons if there's time. I was always quite sporty. I was very much into long distance running at school, um, but generally quite sporty all round. So any sport interested me. And I did, I was into science. Uh, did, did um, purely because I could relate that to, <laughs> to the horses. And yeah, maybe I would have loved to have been, um, well actually I could have done the dissection of, um, and, um, Forensic scientists, that side of things I find quite fascinating. So, um, yeah, that, all of those sort of things interest me. Goodness, biggest achievements. I think that's all relative to the horse you've sat on, actually. Uh, I used to say there was a, a horse I rode many, many years ago and it won a, won a BE 100. And uh, <laughs> if you'd seen the particular horse, you would have said that was a huge achievement. But no, we've, we've surpassed that. And um, you'd have to say just Rev de Rue finally being able to show people what he really can do. I knew it was always in there. And it has been a long, hard struggle to, to prove that he can do it. But he's so, so talented. But his mind often just overcame his talents. And, um, you know, we lost it. But now he seems to have come into his own. And, and actually, he's thankfully proving me right. Well, so we'd still, still that elusive badminton um, top three placing or win would be nice. And yeah, basically being on a, being on the team, obviously the Olympics, but you know, that's, uh, it's getting a, a, a slimmer chance with, with only three people being taken. So, you know, it's all, we're still as ambitious as we ever wanted to be. So it's, what what happens on the day and uh, we'll see how the spring goes this year. I am such a princess and a pea with my saddles and I sat in the Victrix and well my initial words actually were I don't hate it which for me is huge 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 praise indeed and I've been in the Victrix ever since and I love it and I've got all of my horses in it and wouldn't want to ride in anything different. I think it looks fabulous. I'm really excited to actually be able to have one and um, be riding in it more. And the, yeah, the closeness through the leg, you really, you're just at one with the horse. I think it feels, feels fabulous. It's really soft and actually it's much more supportive, but yet without being intrusive and it's, it's so soft you don't feel it's there, but actually it's much more supportive. 
beach. Night out. Oh, Olympics. Oh, now that's a toughie. Uh, yeah, well, a good mare will beat any gelding, hands down. Cross country. Bays. That's a toughie as well. Oh, jacket. Thoroughbred. Ooh, triple bar. Carrots. 